I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on functions. Let's begin with domain and range of lines. The question here is, what is true about domain and range of lines? Four options are, A, domain and range has no restriction. That is to say that X belongs to real numbers for domain and Y belongs to real numbers for range. Option B is domain can have restrictions, C is range can have restrictions, and D is all the above can be true. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then uh, look into my suggestions. Now, before answering, let us discuss about lines in some details. What is, after all, domain range of lines? So let us sketch few. Normally, when we talk about lines, we are saying lines which are kind of like this, right? This could be a line like this, which extends from one quadrant diagonally across with increasing slope, or we talk about lines which are falling with decreasing slope. Now, these lines can be treated as slant lines, right? Clearly, for slant lines, you can say domain, let's write domain. Domain is x belongs to real numbers and range is y belongs to real numbers. That means no restrictions. Correct. So, so if we have slanting lines, then there are no restrictions. However, we know that lines could be horizontal and lines could be vertical also. Now, this is also a straight line, right, which represents a constant function. Now, let's say the equation of this line is y equals to minus 2. Now, for this line, what is the domain? And what is range? Well, clearly, domain is that x belongs to real numbers. But the range is restricted. Range is y equals to minus 2. Do you see that? So in this particular case, we know that range is restricted. Do you see that? So you could have lines which have a restricted range. Now the question is, can you have lines which have a restricted domain? Think about it. Can you have lines which have a restricted domain? Well, let me take an example. The example is right here for you, which is domain and range for x equals to 2. x plus 2 equals to 0 is what? You can pause the video and answer this question. Well, let us sketch this line also. So on a coordinate plane, x plus 2 equals to 0 means x equals to minus 2. It really means that the value of x is always minus 2. So it's kind of a vertical line. Do you see that? So this is a vertical line. Where the x-intercept is minus 2. Well, this line here is x equals to minus 2, right? Now, in this case, what is domain and what is range? Five options are given to you. Clearly, we have a domain which includes only x equals to minus 2 and range is all real numbers. Option D is correct. However, you will also know that this is not a function, right? So, in this particular, let me write relation, since it fails vertical line test, domain is just minus 2 and the range is all real numbers. So from this, what do we conclude? Getting back to our starting point, which is, what is true about domain and range of lines? So we say that for slanting lines, we have no restriction on domain and range. 
domain is restricted for vertical lines and range can be restricted for horizontal lines. And all the above is true for lines in general. Do you see that? So option D is the correct option. So it really depends on what type of line we are talking about. So if it is an increasing or decreasing line, in that case, no restriction. But if it is a vertical line or a horizontal line, in that case, domain and range can be restricted as shown here. So I hope this concept is absolutely clear. So when we talk about lines, it generally means slanting lines, but not always. Remember that horizontal and vertical lines will be exception to many rules many times. And that should be taken into consideration when you're answering multiple choice questions. So I hope that point is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. I'll take up each, fun each function one by one. So I'll take a parabola now, that is quadratic function. And that's how we'll learn domain range for each and every function. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.